<laughs> Can you fly? Can you fly? Because last time you tried that, Grog, you broke almost everything. Let's not. Hey guys, it's your girl Laisha, aka Geek X Sex Chic, and we are back with another season of The Legend of Vox Machina. It has been a minute, not too long though for me because I got on the show a little bit late, but I'm here. That's what's important. <laughs> if you have not seen my reactions to the first two seasons, please do check them out. I'll probably put the link up here or down there. But yes, lots of fun here. And I'm very much excited to get into season three. So I'm not gonna lie to you, season two was a while ago, but I do remember that in the end, essentially the dragons are still executing their plans. We saw what all the gold was being hoarded for, that the big bad dragon is trying to hatch an army of something. And the wonderful man who voiced that dragon is no longer with us. So we'll see what they did for season three. Although I think someone said that maybe he'd recorded, or no, maybe that was for season two. But either way, dragons are still running things, but one of the dragons has decided to become turncoat and disguise themselves as a human to go and talk to Vox Machina and basically be like, I can help you take out these dragons, but you're gonna have to help me out. So that's where we ended things. I'm excited to see what this season's gonna bring. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's jump into season three, episode one, which is called, wait for it, A Deadly Bargain. So let's jump in. But just before I do though, if you would like to be in the know when I drop these episodes, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll know when I do. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Oh, is that what's her name in her room? Yes. Twins. All oh, right, he can fly now, right? He can grow wings. It's Mordor. Well, that's gotta be really hot. Maybe not so close. I know you're friends with death and all now, but. Raishan's mission is more crucial than ever. Can they smell him? We are not alone. Knew it. Dude, rub some ashes on you or something. My children soon will be gods. Can you outrun a dragon? This didn't go so well for you last time. Can you outrun fire? <laughs> hey, your head's gonna get stuck. Careful now. Woo! By the skin of your feathers? Oh yeah, they still flow. Oh, God, yep, that's that makes it hard to fly. Take them in. Well, I'm sure he's okay. Friends with death and all. Uh, enough of this, yeah. Rock, don't. You know, Grog okay. has to learn lessons the hard way. <laughs> Your kind raised by Rudin. Nearly everyone in our village dead, including our mother. Not all dragons are the same. Yeah, dragonists. So it's revenge you're after. I mean, it's not a stranger reason. to vengeance, are you? Ooh. Curse afflicts me. But centuries of survival have given Thordak knowledge of a cure. You sure? And I shall free you of your end. Mm. And you believed him. If I do it, fused with it, its elemental force nourishing his body, contaminating his mind. Why did you do that, you dumb, dumb dragon? I begged him to use prudence. Sure. That was the time to ask him. So this is your master asking them to clean up. Got it. So it's all your fault. But together. There is no together, bitch. You open that rift. Half of Pyra is dead because of you. This is true. We'll see Thordak pay for his lies before his plan comes to fruition. Plan. What plan? This vague bullshit's getting old. I was about to say, old. I haven't heard a plan yet. When his brood of eggs in Iman hatches, your world will be bathed in fire. Is that all? Fire's kind of toasty, I don't know. You get used to it. I mean, what are we waiting for? We got vesticles. Vestiges. Get right what I like Umbrasil. I mean, some of them there do have vesticles. You may have vestiges, but not the one you need. The plate of the Dawn Martyr. Ooh. Magical armor that can repel hellfire itself. Hot. Literally. Okay, where is it? I don't suppose you brought this thing with you. <laughs> right, that would have made things so much easier. Now another treasure hunter seeks it. So time is of Ooh. the essence. Ooh, who's the other treasure? <gasps> Go fuck yourself. 
anyone can conjure illusions. This is clearly an ambush, and we are not is she? falling for it. Without an alliance, I die, as do you. But if that's the path you've chosen. Unfortunately, I think she's right, but it's a dragon, so I don't fully trust her. Ow! For the last time, bro. <laughs> it's me. I don't blame him, I would too. Thank the Dawnfather she only locked you in the dungeon. It could have been far worse. The question she remains. She didn't want to kill you. If she helps defeat the Conclave, that's well worth it. I don't mm. like this either. But Raishan could have just attacked us. Exactly. No! I will not dishonor the Ashari! Okay. Hi. She's grieving. Give her a moment. I'll go after her. I said give her a... So we all... <laughs> the Can you fly? Can you fly? Because last time you tried that, Grog, you broke almost everything. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not exhaust Pike with fixing that mess. You don't want to fuck with me tonight. Oh, tough. I'm glad you have someone who supports you. Kiki. I can be that person for you. Can you, though? Kind of feels like you kind of disappear at will. Especially now. After three seasons, finally on the same page. Oh, God, of course. <laughs> She's the only one who survives? I felt your tongue and it freaked me out and, and I'm, I'm new at this. Damn. It was wonderful. He lies, but uh... he likes you. That gift of vision is turning out to be a real, real good time. I wonder if drinking helps. The way you self-analyze. I've always admired it. But at some point, you have to forgive yourself. Self-blame is so fun. Together. Oh. <laughs> That's right. The bear said, excuse me. You need to talk to me first. Shall we wake the others? Trinket? Don't fall for it, Trinket. She just wants to make out with Percy and you don't, don't she doesn't want you to bite him in the meantime. Whoa. Place looks like shit. Well, you know, dragon ravaging and stuff. Daring aerial incursion. Which is certain Daring. to fail. I mean, I wouldn't say certain. Is highly likely to fail. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. Right now? Me and Grog will get up close and personal with our vestiges. Vesticles. <laughs> I like vesticles better head. too. And I'll be ready with the signal for when he fails. Damn. If. This when? Y'all are really not the best for pep talks. Playing sounds aces. What could possibly go wrong? So it was Grog that jinxed it. Dang it! <laughs> Gee, for Grog. Oh, oh God! He has side th side thrusters. What the hell? Out the side of his neck? That's usually an expression. Don't talk to me out the side of your neck, but it's real for him. The vestiges aren't enough. You need to run. How fast can your little broom go? And let's hope the bristles aren't flammable. Your relics will lie in ash with your corpses. <laughs> Rock to the face. <laughs> Come on, you got this, Pike. Okay, not so much. Good catch. It's a little Pike ball. That you would dare enter my domain? Thank you. Oh, it's not a compliment. This is your fault. You is told it? Thordak we were coming. Fool, I she warned did. you. Get us out Please of here. Please stop talking right now, Kaylee. I, I beg. Rational mind. Mm. You're angry. You're not really thinking straight. Somebody put out that fire. I don't think she meant to do that. Thank you, Kiki. Now do you trust me? I mean, you know she wasn't lying. You don't gotta like her. You don't have to trust trust her, but she she didn't lie. So it's just one of those shaky, you know, while we do the deal trust things. Come on. Oh, this place is lovely. Do we have to leave? All right, dragons, baby dragons, burning everything. Never mind. I'm more of a fleeing kind of person. I don't know if you've noticed that. Me and Scanlan are kind of soulmates on that. I, uh, don't suppose you want to break in and steal a priceless relic for us? Hmm. He's like, I'd like to go home friend. again at some point. Vex, remember that favor you owe me? Uh-oh. You did promise, so give the broom back. Percy? That sounded like... 
Remember, she said somebody else was looking for the vestige, or maybe you didn't pay attention to that part. I think you're going to know who it is, Purse. Who else would have a gun after looking at yours so closely? You really should have killed Ripley when you had a chance. Damn, Ripley fast. We need to keep our heads if we're going to. Right behind you, Percy. <laughs> I love it. That's your real bestie. I ain't asking questions. We just going to mess stuff up. Let's go. I'm sorry, but I know they were all like trying to save Percy's soul, but they really should have let him take her out. Oh, that was awesome, that landing. A deal's a deal. <laughs> the timing could have been worse, but a deal's a deal. That cloak is helpful. If y'all get beat bested by Ripley, that's embarrassing. He's looking for his daughter. I'm going to see my daughter. Oh. Does she, Spice? Damn. Dude. This man's gotta make money. Why am I not surprised, Percival? Then again, you put things together faster than anyone I've met. Shut up and shoot her. You're all alone. Oh, that's Is she? We had a bargain, Percy. And I will happily correct. I guess, yeah, you didn't really destroy the demon, did you? All right, P. Lancey. Oh, it was wonderful to hear your voice in this episode. It really, really was. Oh, I think that might, maybe that might be the last one too. I don't know. I can't remember. I do think someone in my comments mentioned, I think he finished out a good chunk of season three. Um, I'm not sure, but I, if he did, then um, that'd be great. If not, obviously, as I said last season, it was heartbreaking to hear, but so grateful he got to share that wonderful voice and other talents with the world. Anyways, we are in episode three, uh, sorry, episode one of season three, and we're right back in it. So we see now, I forgot about uh, Raishan showing up and surprising the group. And uh, I like that Raishan, you know, she'd be looking a little bit like a sister, so I appreciate. Anyway, uh, we now know how uh, things got with um not Umbrasil, sorry, how um, Thordak got released and why Thordak is so OP'd at the moment. And it's kind of Raishan's fault. But I mean, listen, she's dying of a curse, so I can't be that mad. People do things in desperation when they think they've only got a few minutes left or days left. And for a dragon who's normally immortal, that's gotta be pretty scary. Anyways, she basically wants to strike a deal, but we see that Keyleth is on her vengeance tip right now. She don't want to hear it. She don't want to talk about it. She just wants to be angry. Not going to be mad at it because, you know, pretty much all the previous seasons, Keyleth's always been the more level-headed kumbaya of the group. So understandable. She lost a lot of people and, you know, almost all the members have gone through something where they were a little bit cloudy as far as judgment because of their emotions. And this is Keyleth's turn. So... Anyways, hopefully she'll recognize soon enough that she doesn't have to like Raishan. She doesn't have to like fully trust her, but for the sake of this mission, it's a mutually beneficial end that they're trying to get to here. So yeah, even if she is playing a long game somehow, Raishan at this point is their best bet. Like, um, back said so other than that we see that yeah there's one vestige left ripley is back i said last season that they should have taken ripley out or was it first last season or first season first season sorry i'm one of those people i'm one of the, I'm, i know yes save your soul for the greater good all that i get it but sometimes you gotta tie blue sins <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, some people are so unbelievably evil that the world is better off without them. And this woman tortured children. Like, let's not forget she literally tortured children. Like that's, mm, there's no conscience there. There's no low, that there's no bottom for, for Ripley. So letting her live is a mistake. I'm sorry. That's just always the case. It's, it's always a mistake. So anyways, so we'll have to see what happens, but it looks like she found that demon that, that Percy finally got rid of. And now of course that demon not only is just hungry for, you know, murder and death, but has got beef with Percy. So <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> round two, I guess. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. Basically Vox Machina, they lost the vestige to Ripley right now. Ripley's got that magic cloak that is very, very helpful. And yeah, they need to get it back because apparently it's the only way to take out the dragons. And I don't know if that that's what Ripley wants. I'm still trying to figure out what Ripley is after because we know she was after the vestiges first and Vox Machina interrupted that. But I'm just wondering what her angle is. Is it more power? Is it to take over the dragons? Does she want the dragon? Because I know she doesn't want the whole world to burn because what's the fun in that? She 
won't survive. So, oh, unless a plant, unless she becomes immortal somehow. But anyways, we don't know what her angle is and that's what I'd like to know. So another good episode though. Enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, show some love and I'll see you in the next one.